Hey, welcome to Thin Blue Whiskey. Mike J. Jimmy back with you. And we uh, have had quite a little break. <laughs> but today is going to be a rather interesting because <laughs> Jimmy does Dallas yeah. or San Antonio. Did a little, did a little uh, swing down to Texas and picked up a few things that I don't think we can get natively where we are in Kansas here. So. I've not seen any of these no. here. Nor have I. That's why I was intrigued. So, bottom shelf Jim went yeah. shopping for everybody's enjoyment. Yeah. And, uh, God, I didn't do enough research before yeah, we even I, started this. So literally, these I, guys showed up and we <laughs> hit film. We have the C.B. Jackson uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 86 proof, bottled by the Winship Company in Louisville, Kentucky. All righty. <laughs> we have two stars. Ah, this we, is, okay, so yeah. Yeah. full disclosure here, <laughs> the C.B. Jackson and the Nine Banded Fresh Cracks. Yeah, completely new. Haven't been in them yet. This one. Yeah. Jimmy and I <laughs> we got into may stars. have gotten into the two stars uh, because <clears throat> it's from Barton, 1792 yep. Distillery. And I can tell you, it's not bad. Yeah. I can um, make a comment about the bottle shape. Like, yeah, it looks oddly familiar yeah. to some other <laughs> more famous models. <laughs> yeah, so it is also uh, 86 proofer, and uh, it is distilled, aged, and bottled by the Clear Spring Distilling Company in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, but it's, from the sounds of that, it's sourced. That probably sourced it's a Barton, and they hey, good for them for telling you that it's yeah. a Barton product because most places if they're sourcing they don't tell you yeah. they are we're all about truth they just say bottled in yeah. yeah and the third one <clears throat> fresh crack nine banded uh austin texas this yeah. will be fun uh 90 proofer so cool distilled in lynn uh lawrenceburg indiana so Interesting. gotta assume that that's a mgp product probably um but it's aged at least two years. Uh, obviously, I, I don't know. Blended and bottled by Nine Banded in Austin, Texas. So, sounds to me like this is probably an MGP product, not aged in Texas, but uh, Nine Banded um, purchased this MGP and they blended this themselves. It'd be interesting to see what Nine Banded does yeah. with uh, how good their blending is because. We've had some really great blends from Barrel, uh -huh. specifically Barrel. Right. They, they're master blenders in their craft, and their um, I very much quite enjoy Barrel, uh, Barrel Bourbon. So we'll see what Nine Banded <laughs> blending uh, how how they are on that. So these aren't blind. We're set up. So the left, our glasses are how you see them here on the left. CB Jackson and. Uh, we just go so sure. let's i guess let's get into yeah. it huh start out with the cb with jackson CB. thank you guys for <clears throat> and, you know allowing me to to bring some things to the the show this week <laughs> we appreciate this because full i mean we're legitimately this <laughs> is not only your price point for yep. these but these match up to your proof point yep. too when you were in texas for work this matches up with what everything that you're looking yep. for are these bottles yep if you watched any of my content listen to some of my you know commentary these all kind of fall in that and it, you know i bought them without knowing they had a little bit of descriptors in the store so this is pretty much just and these came from Total Wine? Total Wine and, and Specs. I can't remember which one was which, okay. but yeah, you, you know, things well, that San are San Antonio. Yeah, out of San Antonio, for sure. And they're all, I think, under 25 or 26 bucks. So um, I'll tell you, the C.B. Jackson initial nose, I'm like, ooh, it's, I'm not sure. Yeah. The more, we literally just poured these right yeah, before we hit record. Spanky. So this, it's actually getting better on oh, the nose. It's... 
It's a little, I mean, it, it smells a little hotter it's, than the proof, but. It's super light in sweetness. Um, I mean. I don't even know what it compares to. Like, I would what? say more like a, almost a, a really light butterscotch. Yeah, a little bit. Of, yeah, it's sugary. Yeah. It's a little bit of sweet. I don't know. I, that's not bad. It's good, but not great. I mean, it's it's okay though. But, I, it's not uh it's it's not your favorite of uh cut grass. It's not a glass yeah, cut grass. Mm -hmm. It's not like <laughs> I have a thing. Good. I have mm -hmm. a thing a bit about offensive grain forward. I don't mm -hmm. like that. And it's not that. It's, it's sweet. It it the it nose carries a, over, but yeah. it's it's not like extraordinary and big, yeah. but. If it's affordable and easy sure. to get where you're at, hey man, it's, there's there's some corn sweetness, yeah. but yeah. it's not it's not funky corn. Mm -hmm. It's it's yeah. nice and sweet. It's kind of similar to the mellow, uh, mellow, mellow corn. corn. Yeah, yeah that's, that's corn I, sweetness. That's what I was kind of yeah. Okay. It's, again, you know, this price, is price point. This is right up. This I'm telling you, money Valley. <laughs> this. We've used this term a lot on this, <laughs> but this is super crushable. Yeah, I could find myself. You in could a drink a, a gaggle of this. <laughs> yeah. Eighty-six proof. You'd yeah. Be yep. Feeling it. Yeah. Well, you said the other night on a on the old group chat that you were wanting to fresh crack and bottle kill, and I could see that one. this one <laughs> might mm -hmm. might be able to to do that. <laughs> yeah, I I do want a fresh crack and bottle kill one at one point in my life. Good grief! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a terrible idea. What time? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a little pull tag. <laughs> Number one. All, All right, right. Not the uh, this is two stars. Yeah, yeah, two stars. Yeah, this is a Barton product, and there's some fruit on that. The other night when we got into it. You know, I'm always a little bit of ice, you know, maybe just a drop of water. So having it in this you know, state, meat is a little bit different. But yeah. I think it's it hasn't got worse for sure. Oh, I guess. Okay. Is there such thing as a pink fruit? Not like not grapefruit, but I mean, I'm talking about like a maybe a slightly unripened plum or something mm -hmm. like that's almost got a. If pink had a flavor, I'm telling you. Think? Like slightly underripe cherries. Yeah. 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 It's not cherry though. It's not it's, like a dark cherry. It is. It's a light fruit, and it's pink. Nectarines. Uh, nectarines can yeah. be pink. I'm telling you, this is. Well, nectarines have a little more citrusy stuff to them. Maybe I don't know. I'm super hungover, so I'm not picking up <laughs> a lot of the stuff you guys are picking up. So. <laughs> This may not Jimmy's be. been jamming a couple of beers before yeah, we started I this. Had to and, uh, get right before we hit the film. Get, the get, the get, yeah, yeah, get right on the dog. Still hairless. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have some like good stuff, but it's you know. That's good. It's I like two stars. I, I liked it the other day. I'm I, I'm digging the fruity aspect of this, and I I say pink. It it's a super light fruit. I would say, God, if you could have. A cross between a, a red apple and a green apple. Not the tartness of the green apple, but just that. A little bit, yeah. Like a pink lady. Like they actually have apples. Yeah. Pink lady. Okay. I'm, there you go. They're, they're kind of right in the middle. They're not as sweet as like a. But they're not like tart. Green apple, like that tart, like bite of green apple. They love that. Yeah. yeah. So, and there you go. There's your pink fruit. Kind of caramely cut. Mm -hmm. kind, kind of the caramel covered uh, of that. Of that apple. Yep. But that's that's what I was picking up more. Yeah. Know. Not bad though. Again. I still like it, Jimmy. And we jammed <laughs> well a half a bottle <laughs> in one night and just you know in was, the name of science we had to do some yeah some pre work. It was good. Yeah. It was good <laughs> then and it's still good now. I don't yeah. know the price. You probably I'm telling you all of you've these. drank since then, so you probably don't even yeah. remember the price. I of didn't. These and things. I, I didn't do us a, a service to the channel here, but like I said, these are not necessarily bottom shelf, but they were lower shelves and i guarantee you, you none of them were above 27 bucks 
Okay. All right. So, so all sub thirty. All sub thirty. So they oh, kind yeah. of fall again. And you know, when you're listening to me talk, you know damn well they're going to be <laughs> cheaper models. So, you know. <laughs> so man, that you is, you did good on both these. So I, far. I'm, I'm jamming on I both of these. Hope and we don't just di- fall on our face with the next one here. Totally <laughs> different reasons. Yep. They're they're good for their own different yep. in their own different way. I would definitely buy these again. Two stars especially. Yeah. yeah. Now that I kind of know. In future trips to the, the desert southwest, I'll probably line up a few more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's so see. So the nine. old nine banded. Okay. I I'm generally I'm a fan not. of MGP products. Right. I two year MGP kind of scares me. I wonder if they got it so uh, colorful in the bottle after only two years. Okay, that's not yeah, bad. It's not bad. It is not bad on the nose. It does have a, an interesting it's a, Yep, I, I can't put my finger. Well, there you go. Not all the brain cells are touching today. Yeah, but. Can't put my nose on it. Kind of right, like right off the bat or something. It's a it's a caramel covered salted popcorn. Yeah, comparatively speaking, not as good it, as, as the, the two stars, but again, it's kind of fading though. Like it just it's not horrible. We're not drinking in a bathtub water just. <laughs> well, I was gonna do it right when you're. <laughs> I promised Jay after one of our prior videos that I would try not to get him to do spit takes. I gonna... may or may not have spit whiskey <laughs> on the bar, so that's a little sharper. Yeah, it's very sharp. It, it is compared to the other two. But it, it's really also sharp. what for it, it's all the highest proof of the, the yep, three. It's, 90. it's, it's a ninety. Really young, the right. others were sub ninety. Yep, but you can kind of you get it like it's yep. a it's a little punch. It's, yeah, two two and a half years and yeah. ninety proof. It's it's, yeah, a, it's, it's not terrible. It's, it's not no. harsh. I was kind of a, I had a reservation that it was going to be either of these were right. going to be harsh and just kind of like oh you know you, you wasted your money. But all three None. bottles for under hundred bucks. I I drink them all. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with any of these. This one, I, I say caramel covered salted popcorn. It just kind of fade. That's fading fast. That's what I, the initial just rip was, off the nose. Yeah. It was kind of, it just hit me. At, that's gone. It's just standard issue. I yep. mean, there's nothing bad about it. Yeah. None of, these, none of these are overly complex. Mm-hmm. I mean, you get what you get for the price point and kind of what they are, but... I, well, I have no issues with any of these. We, we I have done worse on this channel. We've had worse. We, oh, we've, had, we've had worse, haven't we, we've had Jay? We've had lots worse. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I didn't set a new low we, where we have to refer back to it for the next 80 videos. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. I'm looking right at it. <laughs> The viewers at home can't see is you know Jay's always got on on the ready the, right the one we here. make fun of when like the, you need a bar to measure against this is the this is it where it starts. may or may not have a really cool uh, Kansas Jayhawks uh, national championship the, logo the, the on logo it. The logo is cool. The branding's great. For <laughs> years. Just awful. <laughs> so well, well, thanks guys. This was this was I've been waiting on this. You know, you guys yeah. always you know bring so much to the the table, no pun intended. I was glad that I was you, able to Mike's bring. Got a few things. Yeah, I, this is my like eighteen, you know, percent of the channel, but good stuff. Jimmy, all the way around. You, hey, They're great, good great job on those. Yeah. And I know you just kind of like, like I think you, you even we talked about it. You yep. picked these specifically because they actually had a little informational card yep. with them versus maybe some others that didn't have shit with them. Right. Um, but. Well, and we've, we've got into trouble before, you know, if you buy something, again, and you're talking to my demographic, you know, if you buy it by the way the bottle looks, we've got burned, and, you know, you can spend a bunch of money and just okay. have absolute hot garbage. These, yeah. and again, Total Wine, to their credit, they had, you know, some informational stuff that I was able to read and kind of, you know, compare against, and that's why I chose these three. Yeah. So, decent, so, decent all the way around. You know, kind of a cool, like, just... Yeah. CB Jackson, it it's just cool. kind of a like a really cool old, you know, with the the black and the copper it's color. It's kind of got a Jack Daniels vibe yeah, to you it. Know, but cool looking label. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I like you it. You know, if you were to it's see this top. label, yeah. the colors pop. Less than thirty bucks, 
Yep. Somebody's picking that up just based on the looks. Yeah, and that's a, cool. another yeah. reason. All of these obviously caught my eye because there were hundreds. Of, the know, two stars. I like the I model. Mean, you know, it's you know. It that, it looks cool as product. hell. Yeah. It looks you know old western, old you know that it's a cool looking label. Mm -hmm. Great job, less than thirty bucks. Yeah. You're picking that up all day. This one looks like a new company, nine banded. Like, like it is just bland. The bar yeah. they, they could. I mean, it's they got an armadillo <laughs> on it. And we call them high school armored dildos. Okay. State bird of Texas. <laughs> Right there in San Antonio. That's right. <laughs> uh, so anyway, you know, Nine Banded might need to work on their label a little bit. My personal opinion, I would have not bought this based on, I would have picked those two yep, up on the cool look, label. Yeah. This label's not cool. That was kind of my flyer, you know, the outlier. I thought, I'd, well, let's give it a rip. You but know. you know what? It's not terrible. It's, it's good. Pick it, them up. It would get the job done. Thanks, so, guys. <laughs> yep. Great <laughs> job, Jimmy. Jimmy does San Antonio. <laughs> Bottom shelf Jim. Yeah, no come to bottom shelf Jim to the rescue <laughs> for the first video in quite some time. Yeah, we're getting, getting our sea legs back underneath us. Yeah, here. that's right. And so, hey, awesome job. That was great. I think all three of them are recommended, yeah, especially they're, they're sub 30 bucks. So yep, yep. if you're looking for crushable, yep, definitely. Uh, super well, inexpensive. Those first two were decent. The first yeah. two were decent. Yeah, nine years of crushable. I feel like, you know, maybe you throw it with something else in a mixer, you know, you'd never know the difference. See, I kind of like the nine banded yeah. just because of that extra proof on it. Just it a seemed a little little bite on it. That I kind of like that. You bet. So I'm full recommend on all three of them. Nice. Sounds like the other two are like definite recommend on the first two. And I maybe like, like a yeah, three quarter thumb on whiskey. the third one. Yeah, they're good. They're good it's all good. Yeah. So cool. There you go. Thin blue whiskey says it. <laughs> We're recommending all three of these. Pick them all up under a hundred bucks. Yep. Yeah. And enjoy the shit out of them. We'll see you next time right here at <laughs> Thin Blue Whiskey. <laughs>